Few things are as enjoyable for us as cuddling up with our dogs. And luckily, many dogs love cuddling too. But just like people, dogs aren't always in the mood to be touched. Some dogs are even uncomfortable or afraid of being touched by people. Asking a dog if and when he'd like to be petted can reduce the risk of putting the dog into a situation in which he feels the need to growl or even bite. How do we know a dog wants to be petted? This is where a petting consent test comes in. Petting consent tests allow us to ask the dog, what do you want? The first step in a petting consent test is to watch whether the dog chooses to approach you. Never approach an unfamiliar dog and try to pet him. If a dog hasn't come to you on his own, he's already said no thank you. Here is an example of a dog approaching enthusiastically and enjoying being touched. If a dog keeps some distance between you, as in this video, it's a clear signal that he's not ready for you to touch him. If your goal is to ask a dog whether he'd like to be petted, do not use treats to lure him closer. This puppy is staying nearby because the seated person has treats, but you can see that he's not comfortable being touched. The dog has approached you. Now what? The dog's body language will tell you whether and how to proceed. If the dog shows fearful body language or behaves aggressively, don't try to pet him. If the dog has a loose, wiggly body and a relaxed, happy face, as in the next videos, you can try a petting consent test. This dog isn't as enthusiastic in his approach, but isn't showing signs of fear. Sometimes a dog will approach cautiously because he's interested in you or your treats, but he's not completely comfortable. The next videos show fearful or uncomfortable body language, including stiff bodies, ears that are pinned back, tightly closed mouths, tense faces, and lower tuck tails. If you see this kind of body language, any aggressive behavior, or if you're just not sure what the dog is saying, do not reach toward the dog. This puppy's body is tense and his tail is down while he stretches to get a treat while trying not to move his body closer to the person offering it. This dog's tail is low, her body is slightly stiff, and her ears are back. And this dog's tail is tucked between her legs. The dog wearing the orange leash has his ears pinned back, his mouth is tightly closed, and his brow is furrowed. It's best not to reach towards dogs showing this kind of body language. If the dog has approached you on his own and doesn't appear fearful, aggressive, or conflicted, you can try a petting consent test. Pet the dog briefly, ideally only once or twice, then remove your hand and see what he tells you. Here are a few examples of brief consent tests. Many dogs don't like hands coming over their heads, so petting the chest is a good first choice but other areas may be fine too, depending on the dog. For those dogs who choose to approach you, but look worried or conflicted, you can make a hand available to them without reaching toward them. Some fearful dogs find touch very comforting, but it's best to let them initiate contact. In these videos, dogs are choosing to move into the offered hand. Notice that the offered hand stays still, rather than moving toward the dog. If the dog does move into your hand, you can then try a petting consent test. After you've petted the dog briefly and withdrawn your hands, watch for the dog's answer. Does he want petting right now? An answer of no comes in many forms, including no behavior change, nervous body language like lip licking, turning away, or looking at your hand, or moving away from you. Here are several examples of dogs saying no to petting consent tests. These dogs don't show any change in behavior, so assume they are not interested in being petted. This puppy stands very still with a lowered tail, pinned ears, then moves away. This is a no. 
This dog shifts her weight back away from the petting hand. She doesn't want to be touched. Both of these dogs say no to petting by moving away. Here, the puppy stops what he's doing to turn and look at the hand that touched him. He is not comfortable being touched right now. To interpret the answer to a petting consent test as a yes, the dog's behavior should be unambiguous. The dog should be actively soliciting touch. Here are some nice examples of dogs saying yes to petting. This dog moves closer to the person every time petting stops. This is a yes. This shy dog nudges her nose under the person's hand every time petting stops. This dog asks for more petting by pushing her nose under the person's hand. This dog wiggles up next to the person to ask for more attention. And when petting stops, this dog cranes her neck to get closer to the nearest available hand. This dog pushes back into her person for more attention when petting stops. Even if a dog says yes to petting initially, make sure to frequently stop petting and check that the dog's answer is still yes. Here are two examples of a yes and then a no from the same dog. This dog initially says yes to petting by pushing her head into the person's hand, but a few seconds later she looks away licks her lips nervously, and puts her ears back in response to petting. This is a clear no. This dog also says yes to petting by nudging a hand. But later, she shows no behavior change in response to petting. She's not interested in petting right now. Now you know how to ask a dog if they want to be petted. If the dog approaches you, watch body language to decide whether to try touching the dog, if you do pet the dog, stop after one to two pets and watch for the dog's answer. Try petting consent tests with your own dog. If your dog says no to petting, try not to take it personally. No one likes being touched all the time. Instead, you can offer a different kind of interaction that doesn't involve touch, like playing with a favorite toy or going for a walk. You can try a petting consent test again later. Taking the time to learn petting consent tests will pay off in the long run. Being able to recognize a dog's answer and respecting his preference will help the dog feel more comfortable and keep you safer.